fastest growing, the biggest hyped, most talked about passive income project of 2022, Hive Investments. I'm gonna break down everything that you guys need to know, as well as the most important thing, how you can get involved, get whitelisted, get early access, and potentially make a life-changing investment. If this sounds like something you're interested in, then stick around for the video. What's going on guys? My name's Johnny and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, I'm Johnny. I'm leaving the Royal Navy in 12 months. So I decided to create this channel to document me going on a journey of turning 1,000 into 1 million pounds, as well as trying out all these different passive income strategies. At the minute, I'm looking at crypto and especially the DeFi space because there's crazy amount of these node projects popping up. I'm researching them, I'm investing them, and then I'm showing the results to you guys. So I take all the risk and I can show you exactly which ones work and which ones don't. So today's video is a little bit different. Today's video, I'm bringing you a project before it actually launches because it has this amazing opportunity for everyday people like you and I to get involved and to be early. And being early in these projects is the best thing. This is not financial advice. I've not personally tried this. However, I'm gonna break down everything, the facts, the tokenomics, the whole structure, so you guys can make an educated decision on whether to invest your money. This is not financial advice. I'm not your financial advisor. I'm not your dad, I'm not your granddad. I'm just some guy on the internet. However, I do have the facts, the tokenomics, and then you can make your own decision from this. I'm bringing this project to you early and I'm giving you all the details that you need to know. If this is something you're interested in and you want me to do more, then make sure to leave a comment and let me know. Also, if you're new here, make sure to subscribe and turn bell notifications on because this video might just give you the opportunity to get whitelisted into Hive Investments. So how these projects work, if you don't know, is that they're like a crypto mutual fund. You buy a certain number of tokens and then you invest them and then they pay you a percentage of those rewards per day. So the percentage paid in daily rewards can range from 0.5% all the way up to 5%. So what you're hoping is that you can get your initial investment back and then after that, you're just generating passive income, which obviously we all want to do because passive income allowed us to have more freedom to live the life that we want. Nice. And because passive income is such a dream concept, loads of these node projects popped up. Since the creation of Strong, there's been hundreds of different versions of the Strong protocol with initial tokens bought and then they pay you a daily percentage of rewards. What Hive Investments has done, they've looked at all the fundamental principles that made these projects work and what were the failings. And they've combined all this information to create a protocol which is main focus and goal is for sustainability. So the first thing to check when you're researching a project is, have you got security for your investment? Has it been KYC'd? Hive Investments has, so that's a big tick. Additionally, Hive, along with Thor and Power, are part of the UOT, the Union of Transparency. It's basically a group of DeFi protocols that are trying to combine truth with proof to build trust, AKA they're trying to be transparent with everything they're promising and then showing you proof of them working towards their goals, which basically is trying to bring back some trust into investors in DeFi due to all the rug pulls that happen. Second thing you check is community and Hive. So Hive Investments currently roll out their updates through Twitter and Medium articles. Their Twitter page has grown rapidly to 24,000 bees in the colony, and they've really created a buzz. My whole feed is filled with members trying to gain that whitelist access by being unique, being creative, and contributing to the community. But more on whitelist later. The third thing I like to check is the project itself. What are they doing differently? What are the tokenomics? And how large is the team? And do they have any previous experience? So the project's going to be launching on the Polygon chain in March. To purchase a node, you're going to have to mint an NFT. And to mint an NFT, you're going to have to buy honey tokens. And then these NFT nodes will generate you 0.5% rewards per day. To be a part of the launch in March, you're going to need to be whitelisted. So to be able to mint these NFTs, you're gonna to need to be whitelisted. And anyone can be whitelisted. What Hive Investments have said is that if you're being unique, if you're being creative, and you're contributing to the community, then you have a chance to be whitelisted for the project. That means that you will be part of this initial mint. Anything after the launch of the whitelist members will be first come, first served. So I'm gonna split the tokenomics into three sections. I'm gonna look at the NFTs, look at the honey token and the daily reward, and I'm gonna break down Hive's revenue plan. So there's three tiers of NFTs. You've got the Worker Bee, which you have a 98% chance of getting. You've got the Guardian Bee, which you have a 1.5% chance of getting. And then you've got the Queen Bee, which is a 0.5% chance. So when you mint your NFT with your 10 Honey Tokens, you will randomly generate one of these three types of NFTs. Obviously, depending on your luck will depend on what you get. 
there will be a max cap of nodes, so therefore a max cap of number of NFTs that could be minted. And this cap is set to 40,000. This is great for the tokenomics because it means that there's a cap, there's a max cap of daily rewards that Hive investors can pre-plan to pay out. This means that they can easily calculate the longevity of their runway and they'll be able to make sure that this project can be sustainable from their revenue streams. So the cost to mint the NFTs are gonna be tiered. So the initial 10,000 are gonna cost 10 honey tokens, and then every 8,000 from there will increase by 0.5 honey per 8,000 nodes, all the way up to the 40,000 cap. So for example, from one to 10,000, it's gonna cost 10 honey tokens, and then from 10,000 to 18,000, it's gonna cost 10.5 honey token to mint that NFT node. Additionally, these NFTs are tradable assets. So unlike these other node projects, when you invest that 10 honey into your node, this will mint an NFT and then there'll be an NFT marketplace within the Hive Investments protocol that you will be able to trade your NFTs and sell them on the marketplace, which is great because with this having 0.5% daily rewards, your return on investment would be 200 days. So you have that risk of waiting 200 days to be able to get your money back. Whereas with a tradable NFT, especially if you get one of the rarer ones, you could instantly sell them to make a profit. What I would do if I got a rarer one is I would flip it, get the profits, and then buy myself a worker bee to stay part of this amazing project. So just a quick summary of the NFTs. You'll have to mint an NFT to be able to have a node because the nodes are NFTs. These NFTs are tradable on the marketplace. There's gonna be a max number of nodes to be able to be created, which is 40,000. So that means that only 40,000s of these NFTs will be minted. And there's three tiers. So you can get a worker bee, a guardian bee, and a queen bee. So now let's talk about the honey token. So the main utility for honey is to be able to purchase these NFTs. To purchase an NFT is gonna cost 10 honey, and these nodes will be paying out daily rewards of 0.5%. They're gonna limit the supply of honey to 1 million tokens, meaning that there's gonna be obviously a supply shortage, which creates scarcity, which with a high demand from this project, I can see the price of honey rising rapidly. The Hive team have said that the honey token is gonna to launch at $100 per token. Because you need 10 honey to purchase a node and mint an NFT, then the minimum cost for these nodes is gonna be $1,000. The 0.5% daily rewards has been calculated to be the most sustainable and reliable percentage. They've compared it from the other nodes which have up to 5% daily rewards. And they've seen, if you look at the graph, they have a huge initial spike of the growth of the treasury, and then it starts to deplete rapidly because this percentage is too high. Then you'd need to have reward cuts like what Thor and Strong has done. So what Hive have done is they've started with that 0.5%, and they calculated that this percentage of reward, there'll be a nice slow exponential growth of the treasury over time. And then this is what creates sustainability, and this is what gives the project a runway, and this potentially is what will have Hive investments lasting for years. I'm really interested to see how this will pan out, but everything seems to point in the direction of sustainability, which is their key fundamental and what they're building this protocol for. So the 10 honey tokens it costs to mint an NFT will be split between the treasury, the rewards pool, the Hive team, and their conservation projects of their choosing, which is amazing. Other protocols such as Thor have about 80% that goes into rewards pool, whereas Hive Investments have got that smaller rewards percentage, so their growth is trying to be from the treasury for that long-term sustainability and move it from Ponzonomics, so they've only got 40% that goes into the rewards pool, which is really interesting, and then again, I'm super excited to see how this plays out. Additionally, we've got real-world use and like real-world change that can be made through the protocol. If you look at other projects' revenue, they've been able to generate millions in their treasury. That 1.5% that's going to conservation projects could actually be an insane figure, and this could actually do a lot of change, which is amazing, from something that's creating passive income and making real world changes. So that's damn exciting. And then the final thing we've got to consider is Hive's plan for generating revenue. So we've got that 53.5% of the initial minting tokens of honey that go into the treasury. What Hive said is that they're gonna use this revenue. So the majority of this treasury is gonna be used to invest in low risk yield generating protocols on the Polygon chain. And then they're gonna have a small percentage that's gonna be in high risk, which is kind of the standard for these node protocols. Additionally, they're gonna have a 15% sales tax, which will then obviously go into the rewards pool, a 7.5% NFT royalties every time the NFTs are sold, which obviously when they have a cap, you'll lose that 40% of the 10 tokens going into the rewards pool. So these NFT royalties are needed to maintain that ecosystem and they're gonna have some maintenance fees. There's gonna be three polygonmatic tokens every 30 days. And like other node projects, if you fail to miss these payments and then you'll stop receiving your honey daily rewards until you pay this maintenance fee. But Matic is super cheap, so three tokens every 30 days is a bargain. Right, now let me get you excited, but not so excited that you go and remortgage your house, but excited enough that you start stacking up some Polygon Matic ready for the
for this hive launch. Let's talk about supply and demand. So what happens when you've got the hype, you've got the scarcity with the node cap, and you've got the limited token supply? It's going to be an insane chart, and it's going to be an insane project to be part of. So my predictions are, one, the NFTs, if you get a worker bee, if you get a guardian bee, if you get a queen bee, you're going to be set. Because there's a max cap, that instantly gives them rarity, that gives them utility, and that gives them scarcity, meaning they're only limited. Only 40,000 people can get this. And seeing as they, they've already got 25,000 people on Twitter, and they're the people in the know, as soon as you get the FOMO falling in and people start hearing about this project and it actually launches, right now it's just on Twitter, then you can see this growing. Not every single one of the Twitter, hardcore Twitter community, I may add, will be able to get two NFTs. So if you think about that in terms of supply and demand, that's going to cause a huge demand and a limited supply. This is going to create great positive buy pressure and it's going to be great price action. So then the honey token, let's talk about that, a 1 million max supply. How does this benefit the protocol? Because even though you have 0.5% daily rewards, they've looked at a system that will actually force the price of honey up. Even though you're getting a smaller percentage per day, they've mitigated the risk of honey falling below $100, which is their initial sale price. So actually, they're hoping that honey token will not be at $100 for very long, and it will just exponentially grow. I can see the honey token sitting up two, three, four hundred, five hundred dollars $500. I don't exactly know how the like supply and demand works, on these DEXs, but I've seen many projects launch and with the amount of hype and the limited supply, I've seen the price spike very quickly. So you have to take into consideration that when you're buying, this $100 honey, which you're doing all your calculations from, realistically, it's not gonna be $100. It's gonna be much higher than that. So all your returns are gonna be much quicker and your passive income gains are gonna be much larger. Again, this is not financial advice. This is my own opinion. But you should be super excited because they've thought about all the factors that drive a really good investment. And even though, yes, these node projects rely on Ponzonomics, this node scarcity, limited cap, and this utility within the system, tradable NFTs, and a larger portion going into the treasury, so they invest in yield generating protocols, and then you've got the tokenomics, so the fact that the honey is gonna be forced to go up in price, so you're going to, they're still gonna be paying out that 0.5% per day, giving them that minimum of 200, but they're looking at a year runway, but everyone's gonna get high passive income gains, and that's just super exciting. If you start running the numbers just a little bit, and then you see that what they've created here, this could be genius. This literally could be the best passive income strategy of 2022, Hive Investments. So, brings me to the moment which this whole video is basically for. I'm educating you about this project and I'm telling you it's early, but now you guys can take action and actually put yourself in a position that you'll be part of the whitelist members. I'm gonna drop a bunch of stuff that the community is making and you can look and see what talents you have, what things you can bring and how you can help do the three things that they want contribute to the community, be creative, and be active. That's it. So I'm gonna go into my computer and I'm gonna give some shout outs for some of the things that the community members have made. And I hope that these will inspire you into some of the things that you can do. As long as you're being active, you're being creative, and you're being unique, and you're contributing to the community, then you have a chance of getting that whitelist. So why not just take some time out of your day, start sharing the Medium articles when they release them, and start interacting with the community, start being kind to one another, start educating people that you know potentially on your social media, tell them about this project, and if you've got creative design or creative brain or you have some creative skills, do it and tag Hive Investments and really get involved. But I'll jump into my computer and I'll show you some ideas of things that you could do to get that whitelist spot. I've got three examples of accounts that are doing everything that the Hive Investments have laid out that you should do to get whitelisted. So I'm gonna take you through and you can use these as examples of what you could potentially do to earn a whitelist spot and also help grow this community and educate people about the Hive investments and everything that they're planning on doing. I'll take you through this one. So shout out to Ho.Hive. He or she, you never know Twitter, has been making these little infographics slash like storyboarding important information. So it's visually explaining the tokenomics or the different parts, Hive's uh, medium articles. So here's an example. So he's talking about the tokenomic. He breaks down and there's a little storyboard. So, he could, so he's got episodes and he's talking about basically breaking down everything that Hive Investments talked about in their Medium articles. He's made into little storyboards, which is so creative. So if you've got stuff like this, I think this is well deserved. He's been making quite a few of these, hasn't he? Yeah, so he's on episode four. So he's done like five or six episodes. It's taken him a long time, obviously. So it's positive contribution and it's educating about it in a simpler, more visual way, which not everyone can read long bits of text without getting bored. So a nice visual way. And he's obviously really putting the time 
and he's explaining all the key fundamentals and the principles of the hive. So what a perfect addition. I couldn't find it on his Twitter page, but I assume he's going to get whitelisted. He can't not. He is very creative and it's such a very well, you don't have to be an expert artist, but you can tell that this guy has a lot of skill. So let me take it to someone who has been whitelisted. And so he's got a great or she, again, crypto cam, um, looks like a guy. He's got some great examples. So what he's done, he's created some screensavers for phones and then he's sharing those on Twitter and he's saying that you should use this and um, you can use this to basically indirectly advertise and advocate high investments as obviously people might see on your screen and ask you a question about it. And uh, he's basically saying, just drop him a DM and then he'll make the screen uh, saver for you, which is a really cool idea. And then here you see he's made some infographics, basically breaking down exactly what's good about high investment. So again, this is something that if you can do some Photoshop skills, get it done, start sharing it, be unique, be creative and be active, like all the three principles. So look at that, that's a lovely infographic. So. It's, it's, it's easily done and these people are doing it and if you look down here there you go that's the message that everyone obviously hopes to receive uh, when you're putting efforts like he has as part of the community is that congratulations you got that whitelist spot so finally we've got bursted.hive and again this is another person who I could find that they have got the whitelist text but then I'll take you through some examples so this one is just they listened to the AMA and then they made a quick infographic breaking down what whitelist gives you access to so something really quick simple like this doesn't take a lot of um, creative skill really to create this but you can see that they've done loads so they've asked answered the questions the AMAs did in an infographic form so people can quickly see it they can share it and it's really obviously good for engaging people in the community outside of the community because it's just a quick question that people may ask or they may have themselves so it's really useful so yeah, that's a really, obviously, another simple but really effective idea. And then just being engaging, talking to people, sharing Hive Investments stuff, maybe sharing other Hive Investments community members' posts. And then we'll go down again and look. There he is. He's got, he's got the message. And congratulations versus Hive. Congratulations, Crypto Cam. And Hold Hide, if you have had your whitelist spot, congratulations. If you haven't, then I'm sure you'll get it soon. So good luck. So yeah, there's just an idea of the things that you can do. If you don't get whitelisted, don't worry. Obviously, there's a limited number of spaces, but you can't blame yourself if you tried and you didn't get it. But if you didn't try, then you'll never know. So oh, and make sure to go follow these guys. Thank you very much for creative ideas. So what's going to be my strategy? One, I'm going to start buying up Matic. There's quite a lot of market dips at the minute, so you need to be ready. You need to start accumulating at least $1,000 worth of Matic to be able to get your one NFT, your 10 honey tokens, if you want to get involved. This is just what I'm doing. This is personal. Like I said before, this is not launch. So please, please be careful. When it comes to launch day and stuff, closer to the time, I'll give you an exact step-by-step -step instructions on how to find a new token on Polygon. Because there are problems where scammers will put HNY token when you're trying to search for it on the decks and you'll buy the wrong token that's from a scam. So I'll give you a full step-by-step. -step. I'll help the community and I'll help anyone who needs it have a step-by-step -step instruction on how to get involved. But yeah, step one, accumulate in Matic. And then step two, stay active. Stay in the community, try and get that whitelist spot. If you can get that, it's gonna set you up to be able to be part of the pre-launch of this because my strategy for these node projects are be early, invest as much as you're willing to risk, but try and invest big so you can get into the fastest return on investment nodes and then get your initial investment out and then the rest you're laughing and you're enjoying yourself and you can take your family on holiday from your passive income. Wouldn't that be great? And of course, my third strategy is to get lucky and to mint a queen bee. I'm gonna do a live mint when I do this on my computer. So if I get a queen bee live, how insane would that be? And you guys can see an insane reaction. I also think that this should be something that the community does. So if you're watching this and you're part of Hive Investments, when you go to mint your NFT, video yourself and let's get a live reaction and see what people get. How insane would that be if you minted an NFT and then you recorded your reaction? I think that'd be sick. So, that's a wrap of the video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you're looking forward to this as much as I am, then let me know in the comments. Are you already working towards that whitelist? Have you been whitelist? Let me know. It took me three days to do all the research for this video and it took me multiple days to film and edit because I want to make sure that it was perfect and it represented the protocol right. I would appreciate it if you've enjoyed the content. Smash that subscribe button. It'll be the best investment you make apart from maybe Hive Investments. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Your boy's gone.